Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look how to make updatable result set in JDBC and after that how we can insert a row uh, into database. So if result set is updatable, it is also possible to insert rows into it. Uh, you do so by calling uh, result set dot move to insert row. If you have a result set object, then you can call a method is called move to insert row, row set first of all. To insert a row values, you will have to call result set dot insert row. And once you set the values for all column, then finally you need to call a insert row on the result set. So here is the code snippet. So first of all, you will have to call, call move to insert row on result set object. After that, you need to set values for every column. And finally, you need to call a insert row. And if you want to uh, put the cursor after inserting the row before first row, then you can do so. This will, uh, after that, after inserting a row, this will point cursor to the before the first row. Now, uh, uh, the row pointed to the after calling move to insert row is a special row, a buffer which can use to build up the row until all column values has been set on the row. Once the row is ready to be inserted into the result set, you will have to call uh, insert row. So this is the theoretical. So let's uh, go for hands on. So this is the example which I had created in previous video tutorial and I have shown you how to make result set updatable by using prepare statement and uh, we, I have shown you how to uh, make a re, um, how to uh, update a record using updatable result set so just uh, we had updated the email address of one employee using result set itself instead of writing a SQL query for update so uh, guys uh, here you can see we have ma ma made a result set updatable by creating a prepare statement like this fashion first of all you will have to pa pass SQL query now second constant you will have to pass uh, result set type type a scroll sensitive or you can pass a type a scroll insensitive and second uh, value will have to pass always a uh, conquer updatable so this is for prepare statement but if you go to the connection uh, interface then similar fashion you can create a updatable result set using uh, a, a statement as well right so if you use uh, 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 if you create a statement by using this method then your result set will not be updatable that is only read only and uh, read only and forward only if you want to result set updatable uh, using uh, a statement object then you will have to use either uh, this method uh, this method there you will have to pass a result set type and result set concurrency or you can use another overloaded method or this method there you will have to pass result set type result set concurrency and result set holdability similarly if you look into the call level statement so similar method is available in the call level statement as well sorry uh, a similar method uh, is available for the call level statement as well in connection interface so if you uh, look into the method like call, uh, prepare call prepare call so you can see there is three overloaded method uh, of prepare call right through which you can create a uh, callable statement if you use first then your result set uh, and from this callable system is if you create a result set then that would be the read only and uh, forward only but if you use uh, lower three then you will get the updatable result set so that's all about the all three statements now in this demo what I'll do uh, uh, this is the project which we had created in earlier video tutorial so if you did not watch my earlier video tutorial then go and watch and then come to watch this video now I'm going to make another copy of this project I am saying our data real set demo 2 and here I'm going to show you how to insert a complete row using updatable result set so let's let me close previous project and here is the So this class is not required at all. This is extra class. Already we have a uh, this class over here, and we have our DB script over here. And in this client program, I'm going to show you how to insert a 
row so let's let me uh, delete unnecessary code and i would say a method name i'm going to specify method name i'm going to change i will write uh, create employee something like that create employee so this is my method name and what i will do i'll i'm going to go i'm going to copy some code snippet from my previous example there we have learned how to perform crud operation using paper statement so i'm going to copy some code snippet from here so just i'm going to copy a, a private method which creates instance of employee and then we are setting values and finally this employee is going to return to the caller so this method i'm going to call from main method so that let's say i'm going to call this method from here pretty straightforward now i'm going to pass this employee here and methods in itself we will have to change okay now the way i have created a prepare statement that's pretty fine so this is the way to create the updatable result set now some of the code snippet again i'm going to call i'm going to copy from previous example so what i'll do i'll copy some code from my previous video so there we have written some doll layer code and here we have written code to select all employees so i'm going to copy this code snippet and paste it over here in this client program and let's paste it over here and here i want to print all employee information uh, which we are fetching from the database so okay now uh, we'll insert one record into the database using updatable result set so result set first of all you need to call move uh, uh, move to the move to insert row right as we discussed in the slide now rs dot set uh, uh, set not set update we'll have to call update a string and here i'm going to use column name like employee name and here employee name i'm going to update i will extract value from here so get employee name so in similar fashion i'm going to update values for uh, email as well so second column we have email and email and what else if you look into the SQL query, then we have an email, then salary we can update, right? So let's rs dot set uh, salary is uh, sorry not set but update update double salary is double data type. Here we'll have to give the column name salary and salary we can extract from the employee object. So get salary. What else uh, rs dot uh, update date of right so date of joining also we can update so here date of joining this is the column now so basically we are inserting value in every column but we are using a uh, method like update so don't get confused so we are going to enter insert so java dot sql dot date so basically we have to create an instance of this class so here we'll say employee dot get doj dot get time like this now rs dot set uh, not set but update big decimal right and here we are going to insert bonus and a bonus value will extract from the employee instance i would say get bonus and finally we'll have to call rs dot insert row right right 
and after inserting this new row i would like to iterate the result set and we'll see uh, this inserted new row is coming in the result set or not right so uh, let me check out how many records are there in the database so right now john does not exist there are four records but john's record is not there and john's information just we are going to insert right so let's run and see john is getting inserted or not or after inserting we can print something is called employee is created something like that okay and if i run then we can see so last record is nothing but john's record is inserted over here right john's information if you go to the database then there is four records if i refresh it then fifth record is inserted for the john so see in this way we can uh, insert a complete row using uh, result set itself you don't need to write a insert sql query right to insert a, a row into the database so this is pretty straightforward right so first of all we get the connection and from connection we create a, a prepare statement using try with resources and and uh, using this uh, prepare statement we got the result set object and we want to insert a new row so first of all we will call we will have to call move to insert row just we are updating values for all columns and finally we are calling the insert row so complete row will be inserted into database so here you will have to keep something in your mind if some column value if you are not setting and there is a not null constraint on the database side then you will get an exception and if you some columns uh, some columns accept null value null value is allowed then if you do not set value uh, if you want to update uh, value for that column then by default null will be inserted and uh, after inserting just we are iterating this result set and trying to display all available value in the database side so whatever we have inserted here that's also because part of the result set here that we have seen so this example is pretty straightforward so thanks for watching this video and this video i'm going to upload on a github a gitlab location i will specify in the video description itself if you have any query or questions then please do post below to the video i will try my best to answer those queries and if you like this video then please hit on the subscribe button and thanks for watching.